Hey, everyone. Thanks for coming to Workforce.com, the world's number one workforce platform. My name is Michael, and today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to start a free trial and then what to look for when you get into the initial account. So from the homepage, I'm just going ahead and click Start Free Trial in the top right corner. It's going to prompt you with some information to fill out. So you can just go on ahead and uh, fill in the correct info. It's going to be really important to get all this information correct so that way we can reach out to you co to continue helping you get your account set up. So once you started to fill out all of that info and then you have completed it, just go on ahead and click try workforce for free. What this is going to take you to is a blank account. So from here, there's going to be some initial setup steps that I wanted to show you. And then from there, our implementation team will reach out to you to help you continue your account set up. Initially, it's going to ask you for some prompts and see if you'd like to take a tutorial on the time and attendance or scheduling side. I highly recommend going through them. But for this example, I'm going to go on ahead and skip those steps. So. Right away, you'll be seeing just the, the blank dashboard. This is where all of your key insights will start to flow in when data is flowing through live in real time. So for the initial setup, let's go on ahead and take a look at this top left widget, the what should I work on. You'll see there's going to be some basic steps on creating some teams and the locations where those teams or departments are going to be placed. It'll ask you to import some employees, so you can do that from either the manual aspect or you can dump a CSV, or you can import it from a HRIS or a payroll software. Our implementation team will help you do this. So if you need help, please don't hesitate to reach out. Then it will ask you to create a schedule, get the time clock app set up, and then integrate your software. So first, I just want to look at adding staff. So you'll see this navigation bar up here is what you're going to be using all of the time on the workforce platform. So let's go to this workforce staff page. This is where you're going to find actually your staff's information and adding employees up here in this top right corner. So you would just click add staff to there. Great. Once you have some employees set up, um, they're all going to populate on to this page here, and then you'll be able to continue. So from the staff page, let's jump over to this actual teams page. What this teams page is, is where you're going to be actually keeping track of all of the different locations and departments inside of your business. So you can go ahead and fill out this info here. And then it's going to generate you your location where your teams and staff can begin to work inside of. So after creating that one location, it'll populate here on this map. You can go ahead and add a department inside of that location. So see here, we'll just go ahead and click the office team. Then you can choose staff that you want to be a part of it and then you'll click add new team. Once you have teams set up in your location, you can begin to start to play around with a little bit more of the system because your staff and departments are set up. But for this example, let's just jump into the schedule and go on ahead and schedule one employee. So you'll see here, it's gonna be extremely easy to actually schedule an employee. You'll see here the day of the week for the week that you're in. You can change this view if you need to, to anything. But for this instance, let's go on ahead and create one shift. So to add a shift, it's going to be really easy. Just click Add Shift. It'll ask you to select an employee, and then you'll just go on ahead and fill in the times that that employee is going to be working, and then assign them to that team. So to see here, it's going to be really easy to move them from day to day, just like that. And if you needed to copy employees, you can go on ahead and do just a Control C and Control V. There's a lot more complex scheduling features to dive into, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like to initially schedule a shift. From there, you would just review and publish, and that will send over to those employees um, via a mobile employee app, SMS, or through email. Great. So after you've scheduled an employee and they have clocked in, you'd be able to manage their timesheets inside of this timesheet section by approving it and then after the end of the pay period, exporting it to your payroll processor. From here, I wanna skip a couple steps and go into the compliance section. So this compliance section is really where you're gonna be setting up all the employees, um, different pay rules. So if they have any overtime rules, any specialty pay rates, um, if there have to be 
obligated by Fair Work Week to make sure you're paying the correct penalties for any mistakes that have been made while doing the scheduling. That's all going to be set up in this compliance engine that's running in the background of workforce um, when you're approving timesheets, setting up employees, and uh, in total making sure that they're being paid the correct amount for the hours that they've worked. Um, so let's just jump back to this dashboard um, just for a quick little wrap up. Like I said, the account's going to be very easy to navigate through. Um, just follow all of the prompts that are instructed for you to get the account set up. What you're going to find in this, what should I work on? Um, any other questions, just head up to this um, help sign up here. You can go on ahead and look at some tutorials. I highly recommend going through them during the initial setup. Um, they will give you some quick one minute videos on how to add staff, um, how to approve timesheets. If your employees are requesting how to approve time off, um, you can learn that through here. Setting up any specific reports you can learn through here. Um, you'll really be able to see all the features and functionality of the workforce platform here. And then any other questions you have, just go into this health guides and it will actually give you a section on being able to search um, how to turn on geofencing, how to turn on any of those features that you might not know where they are, like maybe some notifications and tasks. Um, you'll be able to find how to do that here. For any other questions you have, just go ahead and call our support line at 888-766-5582, or you can email support at workforce.com, and we'll be happy to help you and get your account up and running. Please reach out to us with any other questions. Hope you're having a great day, and we look forward to speaking with you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.